Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing the Blue Eddy EP800 and the Blue Eddy B500 batteries. This is an inverter. These are three batteries stocked to give me close to 15 kilowatt hours of capacity, of backup capacity. The inverter can do 7,600 watts of power, and that's what it's powering this right here. Now, they do make two different models in this, the EP900 and the EP800. The EP800 does not backfeed the grid where the EP900 can. We're gonna be talking almost exclusively about the EP800 and the B500 batteries in this video. If you have installation questions, I do have a video, a very detailed video on the install process of the inverter and the batteries and everything that we put in for the electrical panel, the sub panel, the raceway, uh, the AC disconnect and everything that you see right here. So you might wanna check out that video up here in the corner for install because this is just a basic overview of the EP800 and the B500 batteries. So the first important aspect that I need to point out is that I have this AC coupled. Now this is possible to AC couple and DC couple at the same time, although we're not connected to the grid in any way other than a charge system. So we're charging this from AC coupled from our solar system that I have on top of my building. I have a 10 kilowatt solar system that I installed on top of my shed and that is coming down and feeding the entire house. And then everything that we overproducing gets fed back to the grid and we get what you call net metering credits. And then uh, we want some type of supply if the power goes out because we're using microinverters. Microinverters don't allow us the opportunity to have or produce power from our solar system when the power goes out. So we need some type of solution for power when the power goes out. And we chose to go with Blue Eddy and this 14.80 kilowatt hours of capacity. So when things go wrong, at least we have our essential loads backed up. It's just important to note that you can AC couple this and DC couple at the same time. And we're not feeding anything back to the grid. So we have no safety concerns when it comes to the solar system that we hook over on the side. And we can hook up to 9,000 watts of solar power, uh, 3,000 from one branch and 6,000 from the other branch. And let me show you out here on the building, we have 27 370 watt panels that are uh, all got microinverters. These got in phase IQ seven pluses below them. It basically runs underground and it connects into this combiner box. And that feeds into our AC disconnect for our outside and that then runs ultimately into the house and powers the entire house. Now, something that's important are the ones that are on ground are temporary uh, solar panels. And I use those from time to time. I'll run a uh, cord from there over up through that window and then into the inverter itself. Those out there are only uh, around 2,400 watts. Now those are bifacial panels and we can get anywhere from 24 to 2,800 watts out of those out of those six panels. So we can use one of these branches, either one of those for that because one of these branches are 3,000 watts and the other one is 6,000 watts. But today, the uh, weather is not cooperating with this and it's so rainy and it's been this way for a couple of days. So I'm not gonna be running any type of electrical line across that ground and through that window on a day like today. And when you buy this as a kit, you're gonna buy it with the inverter and at least two batteries. You can get it with three batteries and you can get it with four batteries or you could buy it with two and then buy an additional battery and expand it as you need it. So with two batteries, you're looking at 9,900 watt hours of capacity. With three batteries, you're looking at 14,880 watt hours of capacity. And if you had four batteries, you're looking at 19.8 kilowatt hours of capacity. And we can control this by using the app. You can see that we're using 301 watts right now. We had 100% charge on the batteries and this is our total consumption now our production of course is zero because we don't have the solar hooked up but if we did it would charge this anytime it dropped below uh, whatever state of charge you want it to be at i got it said if it goes below 100 that it would start charging it 
and it would kind of offset the grid rather than using from the grid we can use from the production but right now we don't have that uh, capability just because the weather is nasty outside this does put out 7600 watts of continuous power at any time so if the power goes out and we're running a large load which 7600 watts is a large load this can handle it uh, it does have a switch over um, which is uninterrupted power supply and the time that it would switch over is 20 milliseconds i have heard 10 milliseconds on it but i know it's fast enough that it switches so fast that we don't uh, see any type of disruption from our internet from the lights from the compressors in the freezer all of those things are protected by this unit and we have a hot water heater even connected to this on a 30 uh, amp phase breaker which is right here so when the power goes out we continue to have hot water now we don't have our um, that was loud we don't have our heat pump connected to this because that just consumes so much power now i have heard that they are testing this to where you could put these uh two of them together and we would be able to run basically the entire house off of that but that's something that i haven't uh, confirmed completely and i haven't seen it so i don't really want to talk much about it but i know that that's something that might be a possibility a little bit later in the future so if you're looking for even more power you can think about two of these inverters and even multiple batteries and you can power an entire house and not really even have to think about it this is something that's very unique or i find it to be very unique is that the batteries are 99.2 volts and your operating range is 77.5 to 113.65 volts your rated uh, energy capacity is 50 amp hours and how you get this 4960 watt hours is if you take that 99.2 volts times it by that 50 amp hours you'll come up with 4960 watt hours the max charge current is 25 amps and the max discharge is 50 amps and then we have our discharge temperatures our charging temperatures our working humidity and the product weight all that information is right here so this tells us a lot about the battery and this is a very heavy battery at 58 kilograms or right at 128 pounds and next let's take a look up here at the inverter and we'll have a max input of 9,000 watts we have a mppt voltage range of 150 to 500 uh, volts and you got pv1 and pv2 You'll see right there's your difference in your um, amps that can come in. And we'll just kind of scroll down through here so you can see everything. This is 60 hertz. And then we have the different types of the battery, the backup, and general parameters of everything. So this is NEMA 4X rated. And it has an operating temperature of negative 20 Celsius up to 50 Celsius. Each battery can be turned off by the breaker or by the power. So if we turn this power off, then we're going to be able to turn the battery completely off. We could turn the circuit breaker off that is encased in a waterproof housing. So you have to unscrew this, then get to lift this up and switch the breaker off. So you got double protection at the side of the battery, which is very nice. Um, so we can turn the breaker or the buttons off and each one of those batteries have that when you buy the kit you get the stand with it and that is a heavy duty steel stand that is very well built to handle all of this weight also with the kit you can grab the uh, sub panel which is a transfer switch so up here we have a transfer and everything else here is all of our critical loads that this is powering and each one of these ep800 inverters can be paired with up to four b500 batteries giving you a total of 19.8 kilowatt hours of capacity each inverter can output 7600 watts let's just kind of go over what we have uh, in our critical load we have the garage plugs the living room plugs the kitchen plugs the garage and hallway lights, the bathroom plugs, the master bedroom, 
a water heater, a kitchen, a living room lights, a refrigerator, a bedroom one and two and three. All of those are covered through our critical load center. So when we lose power, the Blue Eddy is gonna support all of those circuits. And hopefully at the very least, at least I introduced you to a solution that you may possibly be able to use on your AC or existing solar system. This can be coupled with any existing solar system and you can install this with a new solar system. So I do love that it has the capability of being AC coupled and DC coupled at the same time. Now, if you're looking for a back feed into the grid, then you have to look into the EP900. It's almost identical to the EP800, but it just gives you that function of being able to send all your over excess uh, solar array that you're hooking from the side over there into the grid. It has all the UL listings that you need to get it connected to the grid so it can pass those codes. So if that's something you're looking for, EP900. If you're looking for a solution like I have on an in-phase system or on an AC microinverter system or something of that sort, this is a perfect solution for that, the EP800 paired with the B500 batteries.